<laughs> now, I'm sure most people watching this like are aware of Thunderbird, but for anyone that isn't, how about we just start with like what is Thunderbird and why would somebody even want to use it in the first place? Yeah. So how a lot of people would describe Thunderbird is it's probably the, not probably, it's for sure the most popular open source email client mm -hmm. on the planet um, by measured by the number of users. We have, uh, depending on how you do the math, about 20 million you know, users. And, uh, the, and it's been around for a long, long time. It's been around for 20 years um, in various forms. And so it's by no means a new project and it's built that user base over a long time. Um, but I would, I would add an extra layer that folks probably don't typically think about when it comes to Thunderbird, which is it's, it's more than just an email client because mm -hmm. a lot of times I get, we get compared to Geary and, and other folks and those are great projects, but they're not a one-to-one -one replacement for Thunderbird because Thunderbird has a very extensive features around calendaring and around task management and around a number of other areas where you that you don't typically find in other clients. And mm -hmm. so um, I would go a step beyond to say it's it's more like a communication suite or something like that or a personal information manager. Mm -hmm. But for for the sake of ease, you know, most people, including us, describe it as primarily an email client. Right, right. So something like Geary would be more akin to like Outlook, whereas this does that as well, and then a hundred other things. Yeah, yeah, and it does it. It it's the thing that I'm pitching. This is my pitch to all all the folks listening who aren't using it currently. Like, it not only does them, but it's it's been around so long and it's had so many domain experts contribute to it mm -hmm. that it does things in ways that are like incredible that have like the problem space has been thought through so thoroughly in Thunderbird that like when we look at other clients and we see how they're doing some things, it's like, oh, well, there are going to be cases where that doesn't work right. Mm -hmm. um, whereas in Thunderbird, you've got 20 years of, of knowledge and expertise going into like, in this scenario, this needs to behave this way. And this, and I think about that all the time, just with like, calendaring and just handling different types of email accounts mm -hmm. and and how robust it is so sorry that's my pitch to everybody but like um it's, it's it's it really is apple to oranges and i would say that of the proprietary applications you know when i think about what's out there like outlook is probably the closest to what we are mm -hmm. and then uh there are beyond that there are very few that i think occupy our same space this doing like everything is one of the it's one of the great things about Thunderbird, but in the same vein, it's also one of the things I often hear like criticized about Thunderbird because yeah, it does so much. Like, you know, if you're just looking for an email client, it's a great email client. I mainly just use it for that and a bit of calendaring. But I can understand why for people like that, like maybe something else does just that. It, that specific focus may be better or maybe just as good without the rest of the extra stuff that you just yeah. don't need to think about. Yeah. I, I think that it's a fair, it's a fair point. Uh, I will say that one thing that we've really focused on, and if you go to our website, thunderbird.net, we really got into this lately mm -hmm. is uh, we were talking about like what makes Thunderbird um, unique. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing that we kept coming back to is like, you see, I see it all the time in talking to users. Mm -hmm. There are so many users with radically different Thunderbird experiences because the ability to customize mm -hmm. is so extreme that, you know, I, I swear I've seen things that don't even look like Thunderbird, but they are. You know, that someone is heavily customized for their use case. And what I would argue is like, you don't have to use calendar and you don't even have to make that, that, that whole thing. If you don't turn anything on in that area, mm -hmm. 
nothing is happening there. No processes are running around counter. You're nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. And like you can cherry pick, you know, what you want your experience to be. And I'm very confident at this point that like, you know, folks should take the Thunderbird and if they already have a tool that works in one area like calendar, mm -hmm. use it for email and stand it up beside your current email client mm -hmm. and like give it an honest try, not just an hour, like spend a week with it. And I guarantee that you'll find that there's just far more that you can do and a lot more that you can tailor to your workflow than than anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've personally been using Thunderbird, I want to say like three or so years, because before that I just did the whole, you know, web client thing that, which is what most people do. We'll get into the web client thing yeah. in a moment. Um, and I, like if, for me at least, I use it in a fairly, I guess, normal way. I don't really do that much customization to it. I have all of my 12 different email accounts listed out on the sidebar. Yeah. Uh and for me, I guess it's just unlike the web client thing where you have to like swap. Oh, like I'm logged into this one. I'm yep. logged into this one. Oh, yep. It's just all in one place. I can go through all my emails like real quickly. And for me, just that by itself is convenient enough. 